body is a temple, and you wouldn't fill a temple with crisps. just got bigger, not necessarily better. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. I hear that another university is open. Doors to the aspiring bookworms and lab rats of Two Point County. Listeners may remember that I don't like new universities because they're not old and therefore not any good. If they were, they'd have opened a long time ago. That's called logic, students, though I don't suppose you'd know. There's a fly in Project. Thank you. 
attention. Your finger is not a toothbrush. Announcement. Plants need water, remember? Weather report. It's raining space rocks. I can't say that I understand our county's recent fascination with opening pop-up universities on a weekly basis, but it seems appropriate to commemorate the opening of yet another fun-time house of real good learning. I thought we'd talk about the past, memories, and nostalgia. The feelings that things used to be in some incalculable and all-encompassing sense better. But why do we feel that way? Are we wearing rose-tinted glasses? Perhaps. Did everything used to be better? Probably. I used to love taking the train, the steam, the crisp sandwiches, watching people's luggage fall. Oh, those were the days. Sadly, I now find the experience of using our county's rail services is missing one rather vital component. I find that everyone seems all too engrossed by their mobile phones. Now, I have no interest in talking to anyone, but what I did like was ignoring people. 
It's just no fun if they do it for you. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. At Bungle, we know what young people want in a motor vehicle. Independence. Fun. Wheels. Beaver from Bungle. The car that puts the E in freedom. Students are reminded that I'm not your mom. Join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus.
Operator required in training room. was recently stolen back to the days of my youth. Yes, after inadvertently trapping myself in the airing cupboard, what did I come across but my old wooden tennis clogs? It had been too long since I thought about my days on the university tennis team. It was said that the mere sound of our carpet shoes were enough to cause eruptions of rosy cheeks and giggling on campus. Although some believed that it had something to do with our shorts. Hmm. Janitor required to repair training pod. Cheating is the wrong kind of clever.
What happened to wooden tennis shoes anyway? The visual spectacle of tennis used to be accompanied by a positive symphony. A sound like a company of coconuts dancing on a ballroom floor. Only wooden tennis clogs can produce such an enchanting auditory experience. But what do they wear now? Ghastly, squeaky things. And for what? Added grip? Light weight? It's practically cheating. Janitor required in training room. to maintain lectern. Thank you. The rise of the synthetic shoe is not confined to the tennis court, sadly. I'm sure many long-time listeners know that I visit Confetto's Cobblers once a year and treat myself to a pair of brogues or loafers if I'm feeling scandalous. On my most recent visit, however, I was horrified to find that my dear cobbler had been replaced with an establishment by the name of the Shoe Zoo. But can one truly describe their collection of footwear as a menagerie without possessing a single pair of brogues? I think not.
academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? Remember the start of the show? Remember when we were going to talk about nostalgia? Oh, what a paradise it seems. And yet, here we stand, talking about training shoes. Another vision gone awry over the savage passing of time. <gasps> How fitting. How dreadfully sad. Things used to be better, dear listeners. How can you know for sure? Well, my show is over. They can't be getting better, can they? Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely.
academic year is starting. I hope you have a pencil. is a temple, and you wouldn't fill a temple with crisps. Welcome in, it's DJ Shorts on Campus Radio, keeping it short and keeping it sweet. On today's show, I'll be telling you the six ways to get the most out of your winter coat. But first, let's cook up something tasty in the music microwave. If you cannot handle the heat, what are you doing in me kitchen? Let's go!
anti-gravity chamber. What is wrong with people? I saw this guy wearing a Bureaucats t-shirt the other day, man. Uh, great show, great show. So I go up to him and I say, Yowza! And he just stands there, staring at us, like I'm the mad one. Listen, fella, if you didn't recognize a quote, let alone a classic from season two, episode 12, the Admiral Fuzzy Nickers All Nighter, then you didn't get to wear the t-shirt. He's a song for people who do know their quotes. Students are asked not to ask questions. needed in anti-gravity chamber. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that.
here's another student story about a little supermarket that could become a little su It's closed. Q, over to you. Over the years, Crumley Supermarket has fed countless students all over Two Point County. None more than Crumley's flagship store, right here in Duckworth. Sadly, no amount of coupons or discount fish is going to save the store this time. No, after failing their third inspection of the week, this much-visited market will be closing its doors. As I sit here, riding the mechanical pig one last time, I can't help but think of all of the good times. The end of an era, that's for sure. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Clean your whiskers and grab your briefcase because Cat Court is in session. This season, it's all litigation and litter trays. The Bureau Cats. New episode every week on Bundle Pictures.
that are needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. In today's show, some of you have got in touch to ask how you can have really cool original opinions like mine. So I'm going to tell you about a little technique that I like to call plain devil's advocate. What you do is you take a popular, universally agreed upon opinion and flip it on its head. Boom! You've got yourself a really cool original opinion. Take toilets. You might think they're great, necessary even. Whereas I think they're a little passé. Frequently asked questions. I believe that smell is you. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Plagiarism is not a belief system. Campus is not responsible for meteors or any other celestial shrapnel. Thank you. 